G'day everyone, Scott and Terry here from One Green Thumb Gardening in Toowoomba. Uh, today I just wanted to show you a quick video on using GeoHex. So, on this property that we're doing, um, the driveway's not quite wide enough and the cars were always driving up the side and then creating these great big ruts. So this is the first time that we've used GeoHex, which has been fairly easy to use. It's a bit cumbersome and um, I would recommend wearing gloves. There seems to be a lot of sharp plastic parts. So just wanted to show you when you join from vertical to horizontal, say, they don't line up. So you'll have to break these tabs out so that it sort of sits flush. Um, the quickest way that I found was just a good old chisel and a hammer. So I got one to line up there and no one, none of the others line up. So then just get a chisel and bust out those with a hammer. It's pretty simple. Um, now what we're doing, because this is a draw where cars are gonna drive and it's sort of on a slope, we're just putting in these turf nails down here just for added support and extra strength. And then what I'm also doing is I've got these turf, Syn what are they? Synthetic turf hooks, and we're just going to put a couple. We did start somewhere, yeah. Put a couple of these synthetic turf guys in. You show me the anchor on one spot. So I just went in between. Are you going like that? Yep. Yeah. So just in between, like the two things. Um, to cut this stuff, so we, because, we're, because we're going around a corner, I just used my circular saw. Just don't do what I did and have my weight on the bloody thing. So make sure you've got it lifted up and then you'll be able to just cut straight through with your circular saw. You can also apparently use a reciprocating saw, but I just used my circular saw. Um, and so yeah, we've just sort of taken the edges off. We've put decomposed granite, or you could put um, road base down or crusher dust. And then what we're gonna do is just refill it with the decomposed granite, because we sort of wanted that sandy look, but then we've decided now to do a top layer of um, 10 mil little rocks to pack in there as well, to try and add a bit of support. So that's the, so far, using geohex thanks for watching uh, if there's any comments queries or questions in regards to how or why we do things love to hear from you uh, thanks for watching and have a beautiful day see ya